Right, lads, Christmas market, what do you want? I want sweet. Sweet? Nutella. You said you wanted foie gras. No, I need to buy my <laughs> wife a Christmas present so you can get it for me. OK, we'll do that. What are we going to get? What do you want, John? <laughs> I just want time with my friends. Oh, oh. you want it. I don't you... want for anything. Time with my friends and family, yes. or and I've kind of that at sausage. A German sausage, <laughs> sausage of some description. Nice. In your house, what's Christmas? And I'm guessing these are going to be very different Christmases. So next family had breakfast before going into the living room to then open their presents. Whereas in my house, you were heads down and you were chucking the paper like it was going out of fashion. So uh, we are trying to get a happy medium balance in the household at the minute. Try and get the kids open a couple, then go and have their breakfast. And Civilized. Then, yeah, come back, do it a bit at a time. My missus hates me because I, I like I literally save all my presents till after dinner, so I won't open them till like six at night. Like, I like having presents throughout the day, and then like I'll open like. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? it's weird. Your kids <laughs> don't do that. I no, my I... kids don't. My kids first. Wait, like, kids. Like, yeah, I thought I was pushing it to have breakfast first. No, I won't. I will. I like try and I'll open like my stocking maybe, and then I'll, stocking. And I'll like save a few for. After dinner, late at night. Oh, are you actually gonna? Are you chilling here? Yeah. Oh. We should get you get a shot of you eating. Yeah, big time. I'm gonna grab one. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Still got a bit of something there. Who are the favourites this weekend? I know definitely the Edinburgh camp. We we sort of started started quite badly, and we we you know we, we're capable of playing really good rugby, but we haven't found that consistency this season. So I think um, the games are really important for both sides. I think we're both looking at these games, and they're sort of like must wins for both sides. But I'd say favourites is it's quite tough to call this year. No, you have to answer the question. Us then, obviously. Okay. Yes. Well, for me, Glasgow's form at Scotland's been a joke. The intensity they've played at. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I've been watching a lot of those games. <laughs> But Pretty I mean, intense like, in the stands. But I mean, like they have been unbelievable at home. Yeah, they have. Uh, going out away to the BT Murrayfield the following week, that's where the real test is for me. Glasgow put a lot of focus on trying to get the cup back from Edinburgh for how many years? Uh, obviously, they've been used to being in quarterfinals, semi-finals of the league, and and having success there. So maybe not achieving that was putting more burdens on on getting the 1872 cup back. I think it's always, for me, it's always been really easy to like separate friendships for those 80 minutes yeah. when we play Glasgow. But I really like these games in a certain way that it was just, you know, we, we do hate each other, I guess, when we're on the field for those 80 minutes. Um, well, I certainly did with Glasgow for the 80 <laughs> minutes. And off the field, obviously, your best mates with some of the boys and you all know each other so well with Scotland camp. Do, do, you, think, do you think it means more in Glasgow or Edinburgh? And it's maybe an unfair question because it changes year to year I, on the I underdogs. The, the and times when we were at Edinburgh, I think it meant more to Edinburgh. Yeah. But since I've came back to Glasgow, I've seen the burning desire to get that back because I don't think they had it off use for a good number of years <coughs> after I even I left Edinburgh. So. I think it's one of those weird things. Obviously, I've been at Edinburgh for a, a while now, and we've sort of had peaks and troughs yeah, to the yeah, team. Yeah. And I remember when we were performing really badly in the league, it was our be all and end all yeah, yeah. to win win the 1872 because we were like, we're doing we're doing crap in the league. Yeah, we yeah. need to put one over yeah, our mates. Yeah. And that was when Glasgow were under Gregor and they were flying high, yeah. we were getting to playoffs every year and getting to finals and stuff like that. And for us, it meant everything to beat them because the fact that they would win the league one year yeah, and then we'd still beat them. like get one over them in 1872. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose it's a bit like Glasgow now, probably. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you know, they're rubbish. Don't yeah. you say? <laughs> Edinburgh. The dominant force in Scottish rugby again. Score predictions. Score prediction. Go on, go big. 25. 17. I think I think it I think it'll be tight. I reckon Edinburgh by five. But what's the score gonna be? But you you have to say that though, don't you? Yeah, say what you think. Well, I would always back us against Glasgow. <laughs> always. I've never gone into a Glasgow game thinking we're going to lose against them. Is that right? um, we've lost a fair few, but I've yeah. never gone yeah, into them thinking we're going to lose. You're a pundit now, though. Um, this is a pundit <laughs> OK. Uh, we, it'll probably be 22-17 to Edinburgh. 22-17. You said 25-17. Yeah. I'm going to say Glasgow. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? 19. Edinburgh, 12. We'll find something sweet, will we? Yeah. Nutella pancakes? <laughs> Any chance?